Alright, against my better judgment, I'm going to show you all a little bit of how I hollow these out. Just because I don't want to jip you. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera or not. Let's see if I can zoom in. But I've hollowed that one out there. We're going to move on. All the uh, vertical chain links, and then we'll go back to the horizontal because they're going to be... The horizontal ones are going to be the, the tough ones because I didn't leave enough meat. So... Those will be the ones I probably cut the camera off to, to really focus on. Hopefully my camera angle is good and you can see what I'm doing. I do a plunging horizontal cut, plunging horizontal cut, followed by a vertical, a vertical. And then very carefully pick a little bit of it out. Now normally if you measured them and everything was exact, you could work it from both sides. but as I'm prone to do and stuff kind of on the, the fly, I did not measure, so they're not exactly exact. So, what we do is, we use my little knife here first. I'm sorry, I'm flipping and flopping it back and forth. I don't know if the camera angle is good enough, but uh, it's just how I gotta work it. Like I said, I uh, gotta really focus and not worry too much about the camera. You see the knife blade comes through the other side a little bit. So now we're going to switch to this guy. I call it like a scalpel blade, but it's not really a scalpel blade. And you're just going to very gently push it through. And it comes out the other side. And as you notice, it's not matching up. So we got to fix that. Do not want broken chain links. I will be very, very upset. Because what's cool about doing wooden chain links is that they're all connected. It's just like a regular chain, but it's made out of wood. And that's, with this one being, I mean, I guess the only way I could describe it as vanilla to me. I, like, I'm not inspired by it. I'm not inspired to do it. I'm doing it because it was a request. And normally, for me to do my best work, I really have to be into what I'm doing. Like I said, I, I like unique stuff. But, I got thinking instead of doing something kind of plain and going the safe route and making this like uh, just a block like it was before or something. Or just stopping, hollowing these out, just stopping with them uh, without being able to actually break them loose and actually function like a chain. So I decided, okay, let's make this a challenge and do something cool by making it a, uh, a wooden chain. So that's what we're going for. I'm sorry about the dogs tonight, people. I have a puppy who is actually getting ready to come up on a year old in a couple months who is just a nightmare. He's a chug. Anybody out there with chugs? Are they all crazy? Half half pug, half chihuahua. And he is just absolutely bonkers nuts, in my opinion. Alright, cool. Got that one out. Let's see if we have enough time for one more. Like I said, I'm trying to keep these videos under 15 minutes. Just because... Uh, I don't want to have to figure out how to record them through YouTube longer than 15 minutes plus. I think when it comes to wood carving, it's such a niche kind of thing. People who may watch these that aren't into it, I don't want to bore you guys. I don't want to scare you all off from watching any other videos or anything like that. So we'll try and keep it under 15 minutes. Like I said, if y'all don't want to subscribe, I mean, I would appreciate subscribers, but that's not what I'm in this for. But, um, I do appreciate likes, but if you don't want to like anything, at least at least leave a comment of either what you thought, idea of, uh, that something you think would be cool to see me try and carve, even if it's difficult. If, if I think I can pull it off, I will try. Because I, I like a 
a challenge sometimes. Like I said, I used to do a lot of uh, like wildlife ones, animals and stuff. And I just got kind of burnt out because it was just always the same thing. And it just became boring and not much of a challenge, so I didn't do carvings for a while. And then the day it hit me uh, to start doing um, characters I liked in movies and stuff, I was like, cool, I can start doing those and maybe people will dig them because uh, people like certain movies and shows just like I do. So yeah, this is coming along pretty good. And these always go real easy. And even the horizontal ones, other than some of these that are kind of thin spots, they'll be a little more difficult, but they'll come along pretty good as well. It's when you come times to separate them so they can actually move around and still be connected. That's where you start breaking them and stuff. So hopefully I do not do that. Like I said, if I don't, record that part the reason being is so that you can see the finished product of how it turned out and not me being mad and having to start all over because the whole point of it is having the chain connected to the actual sword keyblade just like it is in the uh, pictures because surprisingly, there's quite a few people, I guess, that are fans of the uh, game who have made their own, and like large ones at that, but nobody makes the chain. It's highly surprising. I don't know if they use big sheets of plywood, but some like life-size ones, man. So kudos to those guys thinking, uh, thinking big. Anybody who's ever curious why I do these miniatures, it's mainly because uh, it's cheaper <laughs> to buy wood this small and also where in the world will I store large carvings not only would they be heavy but I mean they'd be big so where, where would you put them small ones like this can be uh, sat anywhere nightstand desk wherever you want all right well boom three down two to go for the vertical links then we'll do the horizontal so we'll be back with another clip after this